Um, so it's been four years since uh, the ritual. Um, so why did we have to wait so long for you to come back? And, you know, why this film? Uh, it was, you know, I, I was busy the whole time. Um, it's, uh, no, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's challenging to get these things going. Um, I did a little TV. I did a lot of development. Um, we did about a year um, of development on this. Uh, ben Collins Kutrowski wrote the original script in 2014. I was lucky enough to get my hands on it in um, 2017. I think I showed it to Keith Levine, uh, producer at Phantom Four, uh, he and David Goyer. I showed it to them uh, uh, shortly after we premiered The Ritual at Toronto. So um, it was just a process from there to, to, to bring it to screen. And I should say too, we premiered it Sundance 2020 and then um, we've all been waiting the year through COVID to uh, you know, bring it to audiences. Yeah, and you um with the ritual you 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 took the crew across the Carpathian uh, mountain range, and again here you found a, a you know another remote spot for this house. You have a you have a knack for picking these eerie places. How did you come across that location and that house? Lucky left turn, I think. Uh, Keith, the producer, and myself were uh, out scouting houses. I mean, we had like three weeks to find this house, so. Um, we were knocking on doors. We had location scouts out in different directions. And um, we saw that just uh, across, you know, one of the Finger Lakes up in upstate New York and just knew we had to shoot there. So um, it has a kind of river sticks feel to it. I think given the perils of life and death that are explored in the film, it just felt like perfect. We had to make it work. So we kind of built the story around that. Yeah, and also, I mean, you have, uh, you obviously, you have this thing for the supernatural. I mean, has anything ever happened to you? Any supernatural occurrences? I wish. I'm still waiting for a sign. <laughs> okay. Oh, I've had a few, I can tell you. But then I'll put myself in those situations myself. Anyway, <laughs> um, there's obviously, you have help in the, there's certain shots where, they're actually looking like figures, but you move slightly to another direction and it's just like the outline of furniture and stuff. How difficult and time consuming is it to shoot that kind of thing? It's, it's, it's uh, we like to say, you know, there are things that you don't know and then there are things that you don't know that you don't know. And so doing something like that that we've never seen before in a movie just um, required a lot of experimentation. And, um, you know, you, you use the wrong element and the whole thing falls apart. It doesn't feel quite right. So I was very fortunate to have my good friend, Pat Horvath, who um, I worked with on uh, anthology film Southbound, uh, dropped everything and flew to upstate New York and helped me put those together. He's a filmmaker and visual artist and he would just camp out in the house and spend all night there sometimes and construct these little vignettes. And um, that's how they found their way into the film, but they're real. You could walk through the space and, and, and see it. Yeah, it's all the trick of the eye, isn't it? It's all in your mind's eye. And I suppose, you know, with the, the, the theme being grief as well, you know, they, it sometimes plays on your mind so you could see st uh, different things. And perhaps the absence of someone. And uh, yeah, the mind plays tricks on you is a wonderful space for cinema. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so you're currently on production in Hellraiser as well. Um, how does your vision ver uh, ver vary to Clive Baker's original? Is, are you sticking to use of practical effects or are you going to use CGI? I mean Clive has created such a majestic fantastical world there is so much to pull from in Hellraiser so we're able to kind of grasp at our own inspirations and let them carry us away. Um, he's been really wonderful in um, helping guide us through this process and I think um, you know we hope to offer something that is a bit different than what people are used to but pulls from and is true to the original in so many different ways but um, uh, I'd say the differences are yet to be um, explored. You know, we'll see what comes of it. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time today. It was a, a brief pleasure. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. Thank Appreciate you. It.